Thank you everybody for coming back and visiting our channel. But before we begin, I would like to say a quick prayer before we make this crispy buttermilk fried chicken. Father God, you are a blessing to those who hunger for your righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy from you, Father God. Lord, you are pure and cannot look upon wickedness. Thank you for purifying us with your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the day that we'll be able to look upon you. Thank you for blessing us. And thank you for all those who have walked your path, Father God, and are blessed and have a pure heart. In your name, we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, everybody, we are shopping for a few things in some chicken today. We're going to cook the chicken because we're supposed to be having a hurricane tomorrow. And Hurricane Milton with tropical tornadoes and storm. And you guys, I know I'm a little behind by getting this video out. But this is actually after the storm. Uh, I am editing this video because we was without power for quite a few days. But you guys, I am going to show y'all how to make how to make extra crispy buttermilk chicken. You guys, it is so good. I hope y'all try this recipe. You would never want to go out and buy chicken again from KFC or Popeyes. I like coming over here to the commissary at N NAS Jack's Naval Air Station. You guys, they have a good, good price on chicken. You know, with the price of inflation and everything going up, y'all, it's a miracle we can get chicken at this price. Look at this. You guys, we are preparing for the hurricane. Y'all, they have all these wonderful meals. I'm going to try this one. This uh, Cajun chicken fettuccine. Then they have the teriyaki bowl. You guys, I am pre-buying these ready-made meals just because if the storm is bad as they saying it's going to be. And you guys, we'll have meals to eat and we can just put this stuff in a cooler, put some ice over it. And it'll last us for a couple of days. So I'm just getting some ready-made meals, you know, just trying to prepare for the hurricane, you know, because we, when we have tropical storms, we kind of lose power a lot, you know, um, the heavy winds and stuff like that. So I want to make sure that we have ready-made meals and, you know, in some areas, you know, you could be out of power for quite a few you know because in south florida you know they had a lot of damage with uh hurricane helene we had some wind damage up here and we only lost power for a day with that one but this one's supposed to be tornadoes too so we getting ready-made meals yes large eggs would do go fry up some chicken today all right, y'all, we're going to get a couple of these wings and some uh, chicken thighs. So in case we have to throw some meat on the grill. So we're going to get ready and head home, you guys. And I'm going to show y'all how to make this extra crispy buttermilk fried chicken. Let's go. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to make some extra crispy buttermilk chicken. You guys, it's an easy, delicious recipe. And it's better than KFC crispy chicken. So this is what you need in order to give the chicken a little bit of flavor. You need some uh, chicken powder. We're gonna use a little heat, cayenne pepper. We also have some black pepper. We have some garlic powder, some salt. And to give it that crispiness, Within the flour, we're going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch and we're going to add a teaspoon of baking soda. So let's get started making this chicken. And my chicken is already washed, cooked, cleaned, and prepped. 
And what we need to do now is we're gonna season up our flours and we're gonna uh, dip the chicken in the wet batter. Then we're gonna dip the chicken in the uh, dry batter and then we're gonna fry it. All right, everyone, we have mixed up our chicken. We have our marinated seasoned chicken. The first thing I'm doing is I am dipping it into the wet batter. Then I'm going to transfer it to the dry batter. And then I'm putting it in my hot grease. I am frying this chicken at 360 degrees in coconut oil. You can use the oil of your choice. That's the oil that we use in our house. Majority is coconut oil. And you guys, what you want to do, if you want it a little bit extra, extra crispy and uh, well done, you know, cook it, let it cook for about seven minutes on each side. You know, um, we like our cook chicken cook well done. So I'm going to let it fry for about, I'll say five to seven minutes on each side. But this particular day, I fried it. I put it in. I let it fry for like seven minutes on each side. But you can determine how long you want to uh, fry your chicken. You guys, it's good. I marinated my chicken uh, overnight in the refrigerator. But you can marinate it an hour or, or 30 minutes before you get ready to fry it. You guys, it'll just add more flavor, more seasoning to it. And what I marinated it with, I marinated it in with some uh, apple cider vinegar. And I put some garlic powder in it and a little bit of uh, seasoning salt and some chicken powder. That's what I marinated it in, you know, and add some more uh, water to the mix. And I just let it soak up all that goodness so when I get ready to fry it, not only will the meat be flavorful, uh, the skin and the inside of the meat, it'll all be flavorful. everybody he's my son's gonna try it and tell me what you think Daniel oh I need to let, let them hear that it is good and hot mm. 
crispy all that. Mm. All right, y'all. Very good. It is? Yeah. What chicken you want? You guys, it's what I made. I made salads, some mac and cheese. And I made some more apple pie. So help yourself, Daniel. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you know where the utensil is? Right here. Thank you. Cheesy mac and cheese. All right. That crispy, crispy chicken. Are you going to get it Yeah. Got onion in this bag, huh? is so good. My son had three pieces of chicken with a big plate of mac and cheese. You guys, this is a wonderful recipe and I thank y'all for hanging out with us. If you made it this far, please subscribe to our channel and once again, I thank y'all for watching and thank y'all for helping our small YouTube channel grow. And y'all have a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you in the next one. Sweet refrain in my heart echoes off your name for a moment every side carpets ring the good